<laughs> like, uh, I'm a bit excited because, as you know, I'm a tornado builder and uh, Revel kits are my kit of choice. Cost the cheap. Yeah, it is because they're cheap. It's cost the cheap and they're a nice kit. Uh, they're a little bit fiddly, but once you get into it, you know, it turns out nice. There's a couple of tricky parts on it, like flaps and intakes. And when you uh, are searching on YouTube and you type in, you know, one in 48 tornado, and there's I'm on there and Nathan's on there and bloody Greg's on there and Plasmo's on there. We're all on there and everybody's on there and everybody's got their own take on, on this particular kit. And uh, I'm halfway through doing a uh, uh, tornado at the minute. I'm doing uh, RAF Bruggen with the white tail scheme. But in the meantime, while I'm sort of building that, I've got this ping on my Facebook notifications and there's uh, a guy, Steve, in Scotland. And uh, he's put loads and loads of 1 in 48 tornadoes up for sale. Uh, 10, I don't believe. Yeah, 10, 10. Uh, a, a great price. And uh, so, obviously, you know, I can't afford all 10. But the club that I'm in, I sort of screenshot that and send that to the lads and go, Lads, does anybody want a tornado for 16 quid? Uh, ping, 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 like you do. Uh, and we in space for about four days. Lads down at club had said, yeah, I'll have one of them at that price. Even, you know, I've got railway builders saying, I'll have a tornado at 16 quid, mate. We've seen what you do with mate. I fancy a bash. So I snapped his hand off. Steve, you're an absolute star, mate. Uh, and I got some decals off you as well. Uh, absolutely superb. Uh, we've been messaging each other. And uh, I'm like, you know, he's making me drool because although I do like to build kits, I like to build tornado kits. And he's showing me all these kits that have sold. And then literally the day after he pings me and says, Hey, old Mark, what about these decals? And I'm like, no, oh, what are you doing to me? You know, and uh, it's funny. It is funny. So, in the stash of 10, right, is uh, he said, look, you know, I've got all these. Is wrote that you fancy. And there's there's some Italiari kits in there. Oh, one in 48. Uh, there's some Revel kits in there, but there's just one that catches my eye. And... Before I even pinged on to the lads and said, do you want any of these, uh, I'm having that one. And the reason that I'm having that one is because I've already built this manufacturer's kit, but a uh, Tomcat, a Persian cat. If you have a look on my other videos, you will see uh, a Persian cat video somewhere. And it's a hobby boss, okay? So, I'm just gonna show you. It's probably gonna be back to front, as usual, because I'm recording on selfie. Uh, it is so it's that one all right and I, I look at it and you know it's an artist's impression hobby boss 1 in 48 scale age 14 plus tornado ids uh, and i think yeah yeah you know i'll have a bash at that i'll have a bash now when they came i had a look through the box obviously to make sure that everything was all right and was spot on but then uh, uh you know i I, I have to open this box because I've built nine Revel kits. Nine Revel Tornado kits. So this one for me is a little bit different. And I'm thinking, how does it compare? What's the detail like? That Revel kit that I've built, I mean, how many more times do I have to say? Watch for Flash, GCU, General Cleanup. Because it's literally on every goddamn freaking part. And I want to know what this is like. So I've taken the sprues out of the bags and I'm going to just sort of show you what is in the bags. And I know how it compares to a Revel kit. I don't know how this is going to work on my selfie camera. Uh, I have actually tried to sort of pause it tonight and will it flip the camera around and it won't. Because uh, <coughs> I do all this on my phone. I've just finished work. But just... You know, it's that that were like two days ago. 
and I'm going to bed and I'm thinking, I'll be boss tornado, I'll be boss tornado. And, and I can't get it out of my head because I've, I've looked through the box with all the sprues in the bag, but I haven't really appreciated, if you will, what what's in each bag. And through the bag, you can see detail, but you can't feel it with a fingernail and one thing or another. So tonight's the night. <laughs> tonight's the night. Okay, so Hobby Boss 1 in 48 Tornado IDS. You've seen the box art. I've opened all the sprues. I'm just going to go through them and let's start with because there's a load of them there's absolutely tons in the box there's a little separate segment uh, that's got loads of more little sprues in so uh, straight away we've got uh, and I'm going to offer it up now what I'm going to have to do is just sort of flick it into light and that's just basically so that you can see if there's any detail now if you can't you're going to have to take my word for it so you get two halves of front end, okay? Uh, and the detail on that is just unbelievable. Don't forget, you know, when you're in your hobby shop or when you're flicking through uh, Amazon and eBay and things like that, and I, I very rarely see these particular kits come up. It's always the Revel ones. So to be able to get this, for me, it's like Christmas has come early. You get two halves a side, and then you also get the top and the bottom. Okay, starting with the top, the detail, everything here is compared with that Revel kit because that's that's all I know. Okay, so straight away the detail on it is it's a lot more pronounced, it's a lot more defined, and depending on what colour you do, and I think this is like a green, it's like a greeny colour. Well, I'll get to call out in a minute, uh, but you know, for me, it's will it take a wash every time because I do like to put a panel wash in. Uh, one thing that I've noticed on that is your aerials are already attached uh, and they look pretty solid, to be fair. They look pretty solid. I don't know what they're like for scale uh, because the, they are solid, and normally, as, as you know, with a revel kit, you have to sort of glow them on. And then again, underneath into your wheel well area, so obviously that's belly. Uh, and again, the detail down the side, it's absolutely spot on. Every single, every single scribe line in there is superb. Every single one. As far as flash and ejector pins are concerned on inside, there's a couple, but there's no shrouds. So you know when you've got your circle that you can see and sometimes there's like a shroud, a shroud of plastic that comes off it. There ain't none in there. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna have to tilt it for your foot light because I'm in my shed. But, looks spot on. I put all my little screws here to one side. Canopy, I have left in the bag. Now, the one thing that I have noticed about this straight away, and this is, you know, once you start building a kit and you get chatting to lads on, on Facebook and one thing or another, and you start putting pictures up of where you've mashed your canopy and where you've done this and where you've done that, and one of the chaps that I've been sort of liaising with, if you will, uh, when I mashed uh, a canopy last time, when it uh, on the back frame, on, on that side, it's a curve. Uh, and on the Revel kit, it's very easy to sort of put it in a straight 90 degree. But that one is definitely a curve. Again, you're going to, as is pointless, uh, you're going to have to take my word for it. But your clear part comes in a bag on its own. Then you've got another one, which is all your little uh, wing lights on the end. As you know, carpet fodder. Uh, and a few, uh, you've got your lenses for inside office and then you've got your pod which is underneath. Now, that's unusual for that to be in clear plastic. Sprue N is your, <clears throat> just forget this bit, concentrate on this bit. Uh, Sprue N is your instrument panel, what's it like? It's nice actually, uh, it doesn't seem as deeply recesses the Revel one because with the Revel one you sort of open and praying that micro soul and micro set are gonna do the job you've also got your gun pods on there and I can see 
I can see uh, them two there. Uh, there's there's loads of little rivet detail, and then you've got some antenna. Looks good though. Looks really good. I'm getting really excited about this. Uh, Screw E is wing gloves, tops and bottoms. Slightly different because you've got some kind of. It's a different attachment to what it is on on Revel kit, but it looks like a solid fit. Looks good. Looks really good. WC, uh, thanks Jez for reminding me what that stands for, but it's been a long time, I forgot now. You've got some bombs, and again, nice detail. Two halves, back end, and some fins. Looks cool. Same again, two sprues of that. Now then, <clears throat> WD, that is a different bit of armament to what I'm used to seeing. Don't forget, this is the German IDS version. Is it IDS? Yeah, it's IDS. Bing! Okay, uh, they might be alarm missiles. I'll have to check. I have got a sprue down here. Don't look at it. You can't see that yet. All right. I'm not showing you that one yet. But I am smiling. Look at these. Uh, full set. And again, full set of guided. I'm not sure what they are. I will have a look in Sprue Guide in a minute. You've got some rails, which has got a little bit of detail on. And ejector pins on inside is zero. Fantastic on. Great stuff. So it looks like we've got plenty of options for armament. On top, main pylon, uh, main pylon, main sprue, we've got uh, the big old fin. And again, it's the detail on it. I'm going to turn it upside down, actually. The detail on it, I just want to sort of flicker it in the light for you. And again, I'm, I don't know if you can see it or not. Don't forget, I'm only doing it on my phone. So you've got fin, fin, rudder. Then you've got fans. Uh, they fit inside your air intakes. I don't, that side of your air intakes? That side of your air intakes. Oh, now then. They are side of your air intakes, and look at the size of them bad boys. So they're going to need a little bit of filler in. Wing gloves, uh, they look a little bit better than the Revel ones, to be honest. They really, really do. I'm going to point uh, here. Okay, and again, if I just flick that, like that, I'm hoping that you can see a little bit of detail. Now, one of the things that has fascinated me straight away with this kit is this part your intakes because on the revel kit you do not get the extra option to open those side doors you don't get it i have to start putting them down here really as far as detail is concerned mwah, spot on what we've got here we've got uh, a boz pod uh, and some kind of recce pod and again let's have a look at detail superb lines in it great detail exactly where it should be uh, it looks nice i've got loads and loads of spares from from revel kits that i've i've built next sprue then so if i flick it over you've got your back end you've got inside your office office work you've got your refueling probe there cans there buckets uh buckets across the top here i'm the radar i'm guessing all these because i'm just so used to seeing what they are office again pods again for underneath this one nice little addition very very thin is that uh that's your refueling probe Turning it upside down, office, okay, and if I get a little flick into the light, hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit of detail there. Let me have a look now. So, yeah, all your normal knobs and switches. Back end looks great. That's familiar. That's familiar. Now then, this one, da, 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 there, that's your front landing gear housing. Looks a little bit smaller than Rebel version, actually, that. <coughs> Excuse me. But the detail is more or less exactly the same. There's so many similarities 
and differences in this kit. So many. Next sprue then. So uh, we're looking at seats. We're looking at undercarriage. Undercarriage wheels, seats. Uh, seats, wheels, housings, fairings, all that kind of thing. The detail inside. So we're looking at this piece here. And again, I need to I'll get rid of the shadow, Mark. Get rid of the shadow. Just need to sort of flick it a little bit. I won't know what you can see until I watch this video back and start editing it. Uh, wheels look okay. They're not weighted. But they don't look too bad, actually. Uh, seats look very familiar. So, Revel Kit. I'm sure they sent somebody around on a Friday afternoon to have a look. We've got uh, fuel tanks. Uh, one, two, one, two, two and a half, three, four. Five. Why has they got five? Why have they got five? I don't know. Anyway, detail. Yep, looks all okay. Now, the detail, the lines on your fuel tanks on the Revel kit, they are raised. These are engraved. Uh, and then back end as well. And you've got your fins, etc., etc. Looks all right. <coughs> Another screw. Aim nines, I think these are. And we've got, oh, now then, I've not seen that before. That one. And again, I think that's just for IDS version. Do you know what? It's going to be a bit of a pain in butt to actually decide what I want to put on under this thing. Uh, back stabilizers. Again, uh, loads of detail in those. There's a lot more detail in these than there is in the Revel offering. A lot more. Okay, and ejector pin marks. There's ejector pin marks on the inside, but there's no shrouds. Oh, just saves all that faffing about with sanding. Pylons and rails, very similar to the Revel offering, but there's a boatload of sort of little bits down here. Now, I know that they're release pins for these rails, for these belly rails. And you don't get those in the Revel kit. So that's a nice little addition. Uh, the cutouts on the pylons for your side, uh, where the side missile attaches, that's already cut out for you. Uh, so that looks all okay. I just hope that those rails aren't bent and twisted. Uh, I don't think they are. They, they look pretty straight, but they are a two piece affair. You know, where you have to sandwich them together. And then last sprue is wings now. Uh, slats and flaps. If you are familiar with Revel Kit, you know that you've got to literally build them from scratch. Uh, and to be absolutely honest, you know, that, that can be a bit of a test. If you're not used to it, and even seasoned builders, I've, I've watched their videos and... I've seen them where they've cut it off at the wrong place. I've built that many now, I never do that. But the wings, one one piece of fair, it'd be nice to see if it's that or, you know, that sort of configuration. Uh, but uh, yeah, it looks really, really nice. Detail on it looks gorgeous, even on fronts. It does look really nice. And it's a lot on the Revel kit, that the edge of that wing actually, it's very flimsy. But that is a little bit thicker. It is a little bit thicker. And those those flaps, uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be positionable or not. I'm not sure. I've done that one. I've saved. No, no, I haven't. Shitting. There you go. You get that as well. Now, again, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I do buckets uh, out deployed. Uh, and I am going to get this one down just to show you because it, I've even butchered this latest Revel one uh, that I'm doing. And you can see there, look, uh, I have butchered that to be uh, buckets at half mast on that side. Uh, and let me tell you, that took some doing. 
and it's still ain't finished. Uh, the last sprue that I'm going to show you is the absolute gem in my eye. That is an MW1. Uh, for those of you that know, you know, look, it's just like unbelievable that's like all my christmases have come at once uh, for those of you that don't know that is the uh, side bomb uh, belly uh, carrying uh, thing that uh, spits all the tiny little sort of bombs out and it's the runway cluster it's the runway cluster destroyer Right, 1 in 48 scale, item number 80353, instructions, right, all funny affair instructions, because they're like a, they'll come like that. Number one is seats in office, uh, going down into, it's saying there that you need to build your undercarriage, but, you know, I, there's so many people, <clears throat> I, I don't want to sound offensive, there's so many people bastardised the way that the Revel kit is built these days, including myself, uh, that I just wouldn't sort of put, nobody in the right mind would put undercarriage on right now. And it's not like it has to go in from top and sort of hang down. Uh, it is it, it is going up from, from inside. You've built your office, you've built your seats, you're on to refuel in probe. Again, uh, these are like sub-assemblies. Uh, air intakes at the side, uh, showing you that you can put your, your side uh, retractable doors in, which is great. You can go for radar out or nose closed. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I will do nose closed, I think, for this one. I haven't made my mind up yet, though, because I've just done that Revel 1 in 32 with radar open. Uh, and I suppose... Once you've done one with, mind you, I haven't done a one in 48 with Ray. I'll see how it goes. I'll see how it goes. Okay. Uh, stage three is telling you to build all your armament. So, let's see if we can make Edna Taylor this then. Uh, a BSU 49. No idea. An AIM 9. We know what that is. Fuel tanks. Obviously, we know what they are. ECM pod. I think that's the German version. Boz pod. ECM pod. That's the RAF version. Side pylons, fuel tanks, and the WM1. On the other side, we've got a WE10, which is that probe with that pointing thing. I'm not. I don't even know what that is. I love this kit already. I love it because I'm. I'm going to have to research stuff. Uh, we've got uh, an alarm. I thought it were an alarm. That's great. WE10 again. Alarm. We've got an AGM88A, and again, I've got absolutely no idea. Uh, on the back of that, you've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a sprue call out, uh, and then you've got another sort of pamphlet style uh, bit of gubbins here, where it's showing you BSU49s, that's uh, free fall bombs, alarms, ECM pods, fuel tanks, Showing you how to build the undercarriage, which is very, very similar to the Revel offering. Again, uh, on that stage, stage six, it's showing that you can put pods and your WM1 in the middle. Uh, the wing pylon system is very, very similar to the Revel one, where you have to put the C clip in onto the inside of the wing, top wing on. Uh, glue that short, etc, etc. That's all very familiar. Uh, wing gloves, wing halves, and then I'm guessing, yeah, popping top on, uh, air brakes, uh, and that kind of thing. It does look like it's going to go together very, very simply. <laughs> so happy. I am so happy I can't even begin to tell you. Now then, look at this bad boy. It's lovely this. This what same as the uh, Tomcat that I built. You've got the full, full 2A4 sheets together, colour call out. <coughs> so on one side, marking and painting, Tornado GR Mark 1 ZA404 from Honington, actually. That's the one that I did for the uh, 1 in 32. I'm pointing there, because it's there, so 
definitely not doing that one however this is just an absolute beast uh, there's a word there it's german i'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce it it's the panavia tornado Juby. let's go through it just bear with me Juby lem Juby. Juby Laumat's mouse, louse machine? Juby Laumat's, forget it, forget it. I apologize, my German is not up to scratch. Uh, but again, what I'll do is I'll just fold that in half uh, and look at that. So, tail art, nose art, the absolute works is on there. Top of, top of wings, bottom of wings, lettering numbers all sorts of stuff that is just an absolute peach and just here look you can see that there's some sort of anniversary type uh, fuel tanks uh, going off there boz pods fuel tanks wm1 that's in green thank god for that right so uh, we've got three decal sheets in this kit and number one is all your walkways and stuff right they're all separate how do they look they look like they've got limited amount of carrier film on them apart from the no steps and again the no steps look enormous it, it, if you remember the pinky build that i did i bought the aftermarket decals for that and the no steps were so small uh, and looks looks really really in scale uh, they look a, a little bit big to be fair uh, decal sheet number two we've got loads of pylon uh, instrumentation and again i'm going to offer it up i'm not i'm not sure what this lot is because i've not obviously looked at the instructions that deeply but we all know what this lot is okay that's all your pylon information that goes on the side so they all look great and then your last one i mean come on wow oh my god above you've got you've got your huntington decals you've got this massive massive decal for the fin uh i'm looking at that and it's frightening me to death it's just absolutely so huge but a nice addition, <coughs> excuse me, is down here in this bottom corner. Look. Can you see that? Nice, nice instrument panel. Nice instrument panel. Okay, so you've seen sprue, you've seen box art, you've seen decals, you've seen clear parts, you've seen all the armament, you've seen the colour call out, and a little bit of photo etch. So, what's not to love? Uh, kind of want to get this started already but i've got to finish this one off first uh steve you know what mate i absolutely love you already uh because not only did i get the kit uh, i'm gonna say not i'm not gonna say that i've wanted for a long time because i didn't even know that this existed you know when you type tornado into ebay and it just spits out revel after revel after revel after revel you like for you know what else but revel so steve has done me an absolute service and uh sent me those down as well so i think the top one is i think this one is for euro fighter uh which now means i'm gonna have to build a euro fighter and the blue one here that's for a hawk i'm so knowledgeable I know everything, me. Cheating. Okay. <laughs> right, so he sent me them, which is great, uh, because I will actually now have to buy those two aircraft because I am so tight, I just wouldn't use the Tornado one and then bin the others, and I certainly wouldn't sell them. Uh, not on your Nelly. Not on your Nelly Alley. And then he sent me another one, which is that one. Okay, not going to get it out of bag. So we've got 617. Uh, I think, what's the other one? Oh, it's there, look on the back. 
100 years of lead in the field. Uh, and we've also got, so 617 I can see. I can't see the other one. I know that one's an anniversary. Uh, there they are on the back. I, I've literally fallen into Tornado Christmas Santa with, with, with this lot. Uh, the lads at club are very happy with uh, the kits that they've bought, they've all paid for them as well, bonus. Uh, so that's just going to be like me being Santa and handing them out even though it's on the August. Alright. Uh, I will post, uh, you know, as, as I'm going along. You can follow me on Facebook uh, and uh, I, I usually sort of post, I, I post on all, all the forums. Uh, I post on the Tornado SIG, obviously because I build tornadoes, so that's my go-to place. Uh, and I post on uh, Rob's site in Canada as well. Uh, Model Makers Union, I post on to uh, Ev's site, Red Dragon Modelers on Facebook <coughs> in Wales. Uh, a new one that I'm following, which is RSM. Uh, I think there's some guys up in the uh, Tyneside sort of area. Uh, lovely chap there, Rod. Hope you're well, mate. Uh, and quite a few others on my bar chart one as well, and Strike Apecon models, because uh, uh, I, I have a good rapport with Warren as well. All right, so I will post updated uh, shots as I'm going along and building it, and then uh, you can see what yourself uh, see for yourself how it compares to the Revel kit. And that just about sums it up. Everybody, stay safe, take care. We're nearly through it. Won't be long. Cheers. <laughs>